we're going to talk about shovels and um, what type does the best job for what it is you're trying to accomplish. Now, I know that uh, digging a hole seems pretty straightforward, but um, what I've found over the years is uh, in uh, doing landscaping, um, I started off when I was 14 digging ditches in Texas uh, for my brother's irrigation company. And it was interesting because the guys there used a method that I've never seen in California and I still think it's the best method for digging a trench and or a plant hole. And uh, so I wanted to share that with you because if you're doing a landscape project, you find out very quickly that uh, efficiency and ease of use with your tools is a very big deal. You're repeating the same thing over and over, whether you're digging a trench or whether you're digging plant holes. And uh, having the right tool to help you through that is a big, big deal. Uh, we're not always able to automate and use a trencher or an auger or something like that. And when it's time to use our hand tools, uh, it's a big deal to really have the right one in your hand and know how to use it. So uh, first of all, I'm going to cover shovels, the type that I like to use and how I use them. And then um, the other video that you should look at is uh, digging a better hole or trench. And uh, I'll be using these tools in that video. So to start off, um, this is your basic round point shovel. It's what most of us have seen our entire lives. Uh, they've been using these things forever. Now, here's the thing about this. this. This is good if you have soft, loamy soil and you can stick this thing in the ground and Im immediately uh, get some penetration into the soil because it moves a lot of dirt in a hurry. It's got a nice big head on it, so it's good for that. Um, but most of the soil I've dealt with in my career is not soft and fluffy. It's not coming out of the ground that easily. And so usually step one is something is, is breaking the soil up so that I can remove it from the ground. So I use these more to remove soil that's already been broken loose in a hole than I use to actually dig a hole with. So let's talk about what kind of shovels I use for that. Now, again, I don't see a lot of guys using this around here, but when you see me use this, you probably understand why I like it so much. Because the tip on this plant, this shovel is so, uh, it is narrower and tighter, it's just like a high heel on a woman versus tennis shoes. There's a lot more pressure being exerted in a smaller area when you use this than there is with that round point shovel. Also, you can get it into tighter spaces more easily. So I use this more as a chipping tool to break away the edges of a hole and then I use the round point to remove that soil. Or if I'm using, if I'm doing trenching, then I use this shovel. And this is a trenching shovel. You can tell by the, uh, the width of the blade. Now you can buy these in different widths. Um, this is about a six inch blade. And um, it's the width of the trench and no more than that. That way when you're, you're cleaning out, or if you're using a trencher, uh, this is a good clean, we call them clean out shovels as well because that's what you use to clean the loose soil out of the trench behind your trencher. So um, good tool for trenching, um, not great for plant holes because the amount of soil you can scoop out is limited with the width of this, but really designed for trenching. So these different shovels are used in combination with one another. If I'm going to do a trench then I'll break the soil loose first with this shovel, and then I'll follow up with my trenching shovel to remove the soil. If I'm doing a plant hole, I'll break the soil loose first with this shovel, and then with my round point, I'll follow up and I'll clean out the soil with uh, that shovel. The other thing that's different in this plant, I'm sorry, this shovel, is that this has a, what they call a D handle, and you'll see that it's much shorter than um, your other two shovel handles. The reason is, is how you use it. Um, this is used in this kind of a motion, so you have a lot of leverage, whereas the other shovels, you're typically using your foot to force it into the ground, or you're using a scooping motion, and a longer handle helps you with that. So 
that's uh, why you see this and you get a lot of leverage with your arm with this shovel, um, but it's just designed to behave in a different way. So those are our three shovels that I like to use in landscaping. Um, if you'll move to the other video on digging a better hole or trench, uh, I'll show you how we actually use these um, in practice.